On Tuesday, March 2, 2010, at 1 p.m., Mary Goodell, biology chemistry teacher at Rockwell City Lytton High School in Rockwell City, and Randy Gray, network administrator at Crawford County Memorial Hospital in Denison, Iowa, represented hundreds of permanent residents who live in the Twin Lakes area that would like to see a different management plan developed for South Twin Lake. Mary currently lives on the south end of South Twin Lake, and Randy grew up on South Twin Lake and spends many weekends there to this day. Randy's mother still lives at South Twin Lake each year from May through October. Residents overwhelmingly believe that the current plans developed by the DNR and Ducks Unlimited for South Twin Lake are being applied to the wrong lake at the wrong time with the wrong approach. Rather than a partnership, in 2006, South Twin Lakes was placed in the DNR Shallow Lakes project without consulting any public or private entity in Calhoun County, despite the huge economic and recreational consequences to the area. The property owners of North and South Twin Lakes, Twin Lakes Restoration Association members, the Calhoun County Board of Supervisors, and residents of the surrounding communities were not involved in the decision to separate the lakes and place South Twin Lake in the Shallow Lakes Management Project. Twin Lakes is located six miles north of Rockwell City. South Twin Lake is the larger of the two lakes. There are 333 permanent residences on Twin Lakes and 16 businesses on the lakes. This is unlike the other lakes in the DNR's Shallow Lakes Project. Twin Lakes is a unique two-lake integrated system. Thus, whatever is done to one affects the health and sustainability of the other. People in the area are proud of Twin Lakes' distinction as one of the three unique walled glacial blue lakes in the world. The two-lake integrated system was at one time a much larger single lake created by the glaciers. North Twin Lake water level is maintained by the surrounding watershed and natural springs. A spillway exists at the south end of the lake which flows into the north end of South Twin Lake through a natural creek. South Twin Lake receives the majority of its water from the North Twin Lake Spillway located at the north end of the lake. There is a spillway on the eastern side of the South Lake which feeds Lake Creek, a tributary to the Raccoon River. Now for an aerial tour of South Twin Lake. The new four-lane U.S. Highway 20 expected to open in the fall of 2010 is just one-fourth mile south of the south end of South Twin Lake. The new highway will intersect with Iowa Highway 4 at this location, presenting opportunities for potential development. Located on the north side of South Twin Lake are the wells and water treatment plants which provide service to all of the Twin Lakes area. There is a campground located here, and the Twin Lakes Marina is located just to the northwest. The Twin Lakes Golf Course is located in this location and also has a well which provides irrigation for the fairways and greens. There are residences here sandwiched in between the golf course and the lake, as well as here, here, and a planned new home here. Future development possibilities are located in this location where there is possibility for a gas station or truck stop and hotel or motel. The Twin Lakes Golf Club was founded in 1916 and has been in business on the lake for 94 years. South Twin Lake was historically known as the popular swimming lake. However, in 1939, the Conservation Commission approved dredging the North Lake and dumping over one million cubic yards of silt into South Twin Lake. Failure of the swimming businesses soon followed. 
There are multiple activities available to a wide range of outdoor enthusiasts at Twin Lakes. North and South Twin Lake have numerous organizations that sponsor events that draw large crowds throughout the year, spring, summer, winter, and fall. Twin Lakes businesses provide many services to the residents living in, on North and South Twin Lakes and the surrounding area. Our organizations at Twin Lakes are very active. For example, Twin Lakes Trails has completed a $1.3 million trail around the two lakes. The majority of this trail is paved in concrete. Our parks generate over $100,000 annually in camping and cabin rentals. It is the wrong time to drain South Twin Lake and let the fish rot on the lake bed. Because Calhoun County residents were never consulted, People in this part of the state have been pursuing plans to create jobs and increase tourism in our area. With the completion of the US 20 four-lane highway, we'd like to be able to welcome people to our lake area. We're excited about the recreational possibilities, but we need the lake. The Rockwell City Betterment Committee would like to connect their trail to the Twin Lakes Trail. Currently. Over 7% of the county taxes come from Twin Lakes properties with an opportunity to increase that revenue with further development in the South Twin Lake area. Economic development possibilities will dry up if the lake is drained. 